Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, get the time. Don't give up. It is the Raw Wrap Up for Reels this time. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the uh, Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. And uh, with us in, in Coping Central is in Poughkeepsie, New York, Mad Mike. Sword. Yes? This may be the longest Raw wrap-up we've ever done. I don't know. We did like 40 minutes last week or two weeks Sorg, ago. Sorg, that was a wrap-up where we were just bullshitting. Yes. Th- things actually happened. There's a lot happening show. here. There's a lot going on. Um, we, we did get, uh, okay, well, we have to talk about right, it right uh, off well, the bat. All right. And maybe we'll more I, next week, but, or tomorrow. I think but. we should, I think we should just address the elephant in the room. What happened at the beginning of Raw. Right. Completely unexpected. Um, no one knew anything about this. No. No. It's very, very important. Uh, Justin Labar, uh, there was a tweet from uh, he, he from like I think just after that with the, the press release with the real name and everything like that. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, and, and how Roman or Joe has you know was talking about how uh, he went public be, you know to bring awareness to the situation uh, you know of leukemia and everything. So I think that's yep. that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, as soon as I saw him come out in like actual street clothes and not. Roman street clothes. Yeah. I was like, ooh. It was just this, like, well, this is different. This, no, I, I, I immediately got Daniel Bryan vibes. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Um, whoa, boy. Chris, Chris Lewis um, is in the chat. So who feels like talking about pro wrestling? <laughs> Scrawny um, well, face. All right. Prayers I, for I him. Have, I have to make one joke. I have to make one joke. It's, it's not, no, 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 no. So this is what it took for the writers to actually do something. Oh, for the rest of the show. So you oh, for the rest well, of the, the show. best stuff. Oh, hey, yeah. Okay, no, no, no. Because the best stuff does happen when you're backed in the corner, right? Oh yeah. When when like when presented with a situation where theoretically your booking up until WrestleMania mm-hmm. is fucked mm-hmm. is fucked. Like I, the best stuff. To, the best stuff happened when Stone Cold was injured for a year. I'm looking at the wrong camera. Shit, I, made, I changed the cameras. I told you I was going to do this. Point. You guys are out that way. Um, no, the best stuff happened when Stone Cold was out for a year. Bar none. Well, well, this is... No, I mean, it's not even that. It's... This is why the Attitude Era was good. Because you took away all the main players. No, not even, not even that. You had to make you had to make do, and you don't know. You never knew who could leave at any time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you had to make every segment mean something, and every segment tonight meant something. Like ridiculous, how like Sorg? I'm gonna say a lot of this raw was watchable. Mm-hmm. Like spoiler alert, maybe more than you. Well, no, maybe. maybe. No, I'm I'm dead serious. There's only one part I hated. Okay, but um, it, but it came around in the end. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Um, but yeah, like uh, like of course our our hearts go out to Roman. Like yeah, that. No, it's just it's a shitty way that like is this universal title cursed. It's jeez, it might be at this point, um, because like if I were Braun and Braun and Brock, I wouldn't want that. You take thing. it. No, you take it. No, you take it. Like you remember the uh, the the tug of war mm-hmm. that that Roman and Brock had. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be like a shove of war. Like here, no, you take the belt. No, you. It's gonna be like fucking hot potato. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, well, okay. Well, the, so a lot did happen, and, and as um, they're saying in the chat room, and we got so many Dave, people in the chat Dave, room. Dave, yes, I, I, 
I'm going to bring that up, too. Okay, That's okay. We'll, we'll touch yeah. on a lot of that kind of stuff. But, uh, but yeah, Dave Ponder out of Tiny Shutter Podcast is there f- here from here in the area. Uh, we got we got another David out in Monroeville. We got uh, Tina out in the uh, Seattle area. Matt Carlin's uh, keeping us safe here in the city. And Brandon Matt, KC. Matt says that Kevin Owens says it's safe, which, obviously, Kevin Owens is out with double knee surgery. Yes. So, uh, yes. Maybe that's why Brock never defended him. Because <laughs> he knows. He knows. He, yeah. It, 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 the it, only people that. It's the risk assessment. De- the only people that didn't defend the titles are the ones that are fine. Mm-hmm. Finn won it, immediately got injured. Yep. Owens won it, now has double knee surgery. Like. <laughs> yeah. But, anyways. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the, but there was a lot. There was a lot. Oh, so let's let's keep on this. We did have a comeback around um, with, well, okay. So so Braun got kicked in the um, back of the head by uh, Drew, and we had uh, the we shield. We decided to pull the trigger on everything. Yes, yes. Everything. This was a firing squad of storylines. Mm-hmm. That's what this was. Like, oh, we want Braun face again. Boom, done. We want Dean to turn on Seth. Boom, done. We want Elias to be face. Boom, done. Like, we're just doing everything. Now, I feel you guys. like I feel like it's and, and this is like again like kind of listening to the, the television philosophies with uh with Eric Bischoff with eighty three weeks. This was kind of the hey this big thing happened that's really horrible, and um everybody's talking about it. So more people are watching tonight. So we're gonna make sure they're gonna come back and stuff happens. Well, there's all not to discount what's happening like there there are other things happening that maybe that's the reason people aren't watching yeah, there's that too there's that too so th- so they need to step yeah. up a little bit need to fight back a little bit and, and get some more eyes on the product uh to support all these other things happening so uh well let, let's go through uh, and we'll do a rundown of what, exactly what the evolution pay-per-view is going to look like here well, on the wrestling I, mayhem show before, but before oh wait wait we start, yeah, we, we're, before, we're not, not talking about shield uh, no, before we start, before we talk about the Evolution pay per view, um, I did have one negative, one major negative for mm-hmm, me mm-hmm. personally. Um, I understand why the main event was what the main event was. Mm-hmm. I understand that. I get it. Biggest talking point that was not Roman Reigns. But it shouldn't be mm-hmm. because there's a fucking pay per view on Sunday. And guess what? The shield isn't going to be at it. While I... We could have done the tag title switch at hour two and held off on a Dean turn. We did not have to do this all tonight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The main event of this... Now, I realize they're running a special right now Mm -hmm. about Evolution. Fine. It's 11.30. No one's watching it. The main event of this show tonight should have been a women's match. It should have been a go-home. A women's match. The contract signing would have been fine. It should have been something to do with the women. Mm -hmm. It should have been something. Like, I, the reason that they're probably running this special is because they realize how shittily they've booked Evolution. Mm-hmm. So a little extra, and they, you know, some good good press for them to show off, like what's been happening here. Um, I, I wondered if this was just going to be another version of the like you know twenty four seven of the Women's Evolution. Uh, there's probably a lot of elements from that in here. It it mostly is. Mm-hmm. It mostly is. It's like it's like a chopped up version of it. Okay. Yeah. Maybe a little different, adding some more. It looks like you know more of the Ronda stuff, more of the more recent stuff. So it's like it's like they extended it. Yeah, uh, like like they're bit. like they're adding the Renee joining the commentary team. They're adding um, Paige having to retire. Sork, what is that noise? Oh, don't worry. I, I was I was looking to see if the special was still going. 
Oh yeah, no, it's I, Sork. I have it on right here. On well, I I didn't I didn't, and I threw it back on I, my iPad. I I just said it was running. I know, I know. I just want to okay. see what they're doing so we can comment. I was ab- I I'm was doing telling my, this you. is journalistic Sorg. integrity, man. Sorg, I'm I was doing t- my part, Mike. Damn it! Now I'm mad, was, Sorg. Now you've made I was me mad, Sorg. You exactly what was on the screen. Son of a bitch. Anyways, let's get back to it. <laughs> Dean, why yeah. Dean? Why? Um, he was saying a lot of stuff, and I didn't catch the thread to why and he turned. Um, it's going to be something stupid. It, it sounds like it, it, from like what he was yelling at him, although I loved when I think somebody in the crowd swore and he kept yelling, watch your mouth while he was beating up Seth. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a highlight for me. Uh, it, but, uh, it, uh, but, 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 but he kept it's saying, because he, ke- he kept saying like, you know, he held up the bell and was like, is this what's important to you? You know, is this what's so important to you? Cause I, I didn't know if I caught something in an interview earlier where, where, he said something about getting the belts or something, and and you know maybe this was like a breaking point because you know Dean has Dean has been playing the something's been up with him, you know, like my you know his dog died or something, Dean since he came back, right? And uh, and and this is like it it kind of feels like the perfect night for it to happen because the Roman thing can be the thing that storyline puts him over the edge. Yeah. I still have a feeling it's going to end up being the why did you call me a lunatic? Really? Yeah. Really? I have a feeling. Yep. I I don't like it. I Yeah. Mm. Sorg, they used up all their writing in one week. Come on now. (laughs) No, I mean, I I really think that's going to end up being it. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, is this what you wanted? I'm a lunatic. I'm acting like a lunatic. Like, we yeah, win the tag yeah. titles. I turn on you immediately. I'm acting like a lunatic. This is what you wanted. So we get we get the week to, to work it out, and, the, and they uh, set up for whatever's going to happen at uh, uh, the next show. So, oh, well. Uh, but, was, like, we, we didn't need to do this tonight. No, 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 no. The, uh, like, the he, title switch? Sure, fine. But after that, we didn't need the turn right away. You know what I did the appreciate turn, tonight? You know what I did appreciate tonight? What? Two segments of Elias. Uh, that's because Elias is going to be the winner of the 2019 Royal Rumble. Whoa! Hot bold, takes here on the show on Monday bold night. Bold proclamation. Whoa! They, they pulled the trigger. Yeah. And this is the start. Huh. This is the start. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, Bold proclamation. I realize. I understand. Um, but even even if I'm mistaken and he doesn't win the rumble, he is going to be in the title match at WrestleMania. What did I tell you, man? What did uh, I tell no, 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 no. This is happening because of what happened to Roman. Oh, I don't know. Yes. Oh, yes. I don't know. Yes. Come Sorg. on. I think it was. Sorg. A, I think it was. Maybe they they bumped it up. Um, maybe they no, bumped so, it up. Sorg. Sorg. With Roman Reigns leaving, you no longer have a top face. Mm-hmm. You think Elias is it? I think the combination of Braun being face now and Elias being face makes up for Roman. Okay. It, it's it's all about numbers. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's a numbers game. It's all about like, numbers, just like the Royal Rumble by the numbers. Yes, exactly. Yes. Numbers. I see you yeah. doing math over there. Uh-huh. No, but, like... Because, let's be honest, Dean was going to turn eventually. We all know it. Dean was going to turn eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, like, and we could, and I could be wrong, and we could be having Seth versus Dean for the Universal Title at Mania, but I think that could just be a grudge match, like at WrestleMania, or it could be an IC title match, or it could be any number of different things. But I have a feeling. Because the first feud they put Elias in is with the uh, the authority figure. That's a good start. That's a good start because there's no one who gets more legitimate heat than Baron, mm-hmm. and there's no one who gets a better face pop than Elias. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... This could be the, now. I don't think this was planned at all, because it seemed very out of the ordinary, especially since he did have a match with Apollo Cruz, who was also a face. So it was like, okay, let's burn this match with Apollo Cruz, 
Get it out of the way. Give him the win. And then rip, 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 reset so we can turn to Elias face. Hmm. Hmm. It'll be an interesting couple months to see what happens here. Here's and uh, I think Survivor Series just took on a whole new look, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So with that, so, uh, any other men's things uh, t- from tonight you want to touch on? Mm. I, mean, um, I mean, it looked – I mean, we, we should mention at Crown Jewel, um, the triple threat match has now just gone to a singles match between Braun and Brock. And if they give it to Brock, I'm going to be very disappointed with this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Now we're back to square one. Yeah. No, yeah. we're back to square negative one. <laughs> no, it, it, I'm serious. It's be- because if Braun can't do it, there's literally no one on that roster that is or, built to Or Brock does it. He takes it to UFC with him. We come up with a new belt. Or we just have the WWE Championship go between brands. That'd be amazing. Can we do that? It, can we do I, that? Can no, that because happen? then we'll never get Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Wait, what? That's uh, bold prediction. Bold prediction. Bold prediction. Daniel Bryan versus The Miz WWE title at WrestleMania. Wow. Oh, they, bold it, prediction. That's too good. It's too good. Bold too predictions. Good. Do you know why I'm making these bold predictions, Sorg? Because I'm going to go to WrestleMania, and I want to see these things, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The women's tonight. I don't know why I call them the women's. Um, my girl Lita made an appearance. I'm happy. Uh, Lita and Trish had backs. I, is Alexa injured? I think she has been noted as injured, yes. It's really a shame. Right, I think because that's, I think Alicia, that's, I think Alicia that's Fox why we, doing that segment yes. takes a lot of steam out of it. Yes, I, I think I think that's why we've been uh, we've gotten this tag team situation mm-hmm. um, to cover that up. So, yes, Kurt Hawkins be- can beat Lesnar. Bull I per- don't more more hot takes in the chat room. Okay, <laughs> sure. Hot takes, hot takes, hot takes. Maybe yes. in WWE 2K19. Mm-hmm. Triple threat. I- I- if Roman would be healthy, triple threat at Mania between the Shield. Uh, I don't chat, right? know. I, I don't know if that was ever an idea. I I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it's because I, I had heard Roman versus The Rock. <laughs> Dave says also is Foxy fifteen feet tall? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, she's actually the third member of the old eighties tag team, the Skyscrapers. Oh, hey, we got a uh, negative one hundred. <laughs> we got a friend. <laughs> I believe this is uh, uh Frankie uh, that that you met down in uh, New Orleans. At the party. Oh, excellent. Yeah, as they join us in the chat room. Welcome. Um, wow, this is a, everybody's in here tonight. I, I don't know what. We, this is becoming like like our, our almost as hot as Tuesday nights around here. Um, but all right, uh, back to it. Um, how you feeling this week? You know, we, we finally got a rundown of matches. We kind of went through things. And I'm realizing. There are not a lot of matches. There are not. A, no, I, so I, I'm counting six matches, including the Battle Royal. Sorg, there's one SmackDown match. There's one. Oh, shit, there is. There's one SmackDown match. Wow. What else would you do SmackDown-wise? Everybody, yeah, I saw everybody was no, really No, no, Sorg. You know what you do? You do the Iconics in a tag team match. Yeah. Hell, maybe you make Smack. Maybe you make women's tag team championships. Hmm. Maybe you do that. They, they can surprise just, us with that? Instead of just a battle royal, that you throw everybody in. We do have an NXT championship. So uh, I just want to say... Baszler and uh, Ronda are on the same show. Just saying. It's a thing yeah. that's happening. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a segment. I'm sure there's going to be something. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a little hidden on. Like, what's up? Yeah. Fancy um, seeing there, you here. There will probably be a horsewoman versus horsewoman standoff segment. Mm, I'm almost going to get, But they're buddies. I'm almost going to guarantee mm. it. <laughs> I'm gonna guarantee. Uh, and Alex is confirming that there is a UK uh, an NXT UK title match happening too. Was not mentioned tonight on the show. I'm guessing they might be um, setting it up on Wednesday. No, they have not mentioned it because if you watch NXT UK, there not. is no there is no NXT UK Women's Champion yet. Oh. However, those tapings took place months ago, and there is a champion. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's also the finals of the Mae Young Classic, hmm. which ironically they did not mention. 
um, in the rundown. Oh. But but the finals of the Mae Young Classic are still happening. Oh, shit. I need to catch up with the Mae Young Classic. Like, you the probably entire, should. Like, the entire thing. You probably should. Ah, shit. Okay. We got that. I, I'll catch that up, and then I'll catch up with Lucha Underground. No, and then, Lucha first. No, Sorg. Lucha, then, then, but that's Sorg. the Lucha I need to get done by next week. Sorg, you, we need to do a Lucha show. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I I can't talk about it with anyone else because no one fucking watches it. I know. I know I've t- I, dude, seriously. I'm watching. Dude, I'm watching Raw, and I'm squeezing in SmackDown. Stop watching Raw. Plus, I told you this. What, but, I, <laughs> but then what are we going to do on Monday nights? What is this show going to be? I'll, t- I'll tell you what happens on You'll Raw. You'll tell me you just, what happens. You Wait, just you hate it more than I do. But that doesn't mean I'm not an avid storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, bring I'm around. I'm a spinner of yarn, Sorg. Okay, what did tonight do to get <laughs> you excited about Evolution? Oh, not a whole lot. Okay. All right. There well, you go. Got your answer. Lot. I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> no. Um, no. I mean, they they show they had a lot of women's segments, um, which is good. Uh, but see, the problem is with with this pay per view. Um, the Raw women's style match. Mm-hmm. Ronda and Nikki do not wrestle every week. No. So you can't properly build it. Uh, yes, uh, it's been it's been talking segments. Talk, talk, yeah. talk. And Brie can't wrestle by herself at all, so you can't even have what should have been the go home match, Ronda versus yeah. Brie Bella. Makes sense. That should have been the main event for tonight. Um, well, you, you still got Jimmy Fallon uh, appearance with the Bellas to set things up too. Um, no, no, you don't. That's the go home show. So, but, um, no, but but the in the other tag match. Trish and Lita are not going to wrestle on Raw. Mm-hmm. Alexa's apparently injured. So you only have Mickey James as an active in ring competitor to build that match, and that doesn't work. Tell you what, good news, good news. I only have five episodes and 45 minutes because I watched two minutes of episode two to watch. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, of the May Young Classic, I, I am better off than I thought I was. Okay, good. Good. Um, but yeah, and, and other than that, there's a battle royal. Which is like, hey, let's just have a match and have people throw each other over the top rope. Mm-hmm. There's no build for that. There's no excitement. Um, and then you have the, the newly made six-woman tag team match, which should be fine. But, you know, it's if there was a pre-show, that match would be on the pre-show. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah. So, I mean, this, this Raw, just by the nature of the build for Revolution, could do nothing to excite me more for Revolution. I already know what matches are going to be there. I'm as hyped as I'm going to be. This Raw did nothing to really elevate that. Do you think this is going to be the, no, the, no, the, the December to this member of women's wrestling? God, no. Okay. We're no, at least the, above no, that. No, the... Most of the competitors are too talented to let that happen. Mm-hmm. Like that six women's tag match, Bailey and Sasha are gonna have a fire under them, and that match is going to be fucking awesome. I'm excited for that match. I'm hoping everybody fi- does. I'm hoping everybody the finals, does. Well, not every match is gonna be a barn burner. The no. two main ones they're plugging on Raw are not gonna be barn burners by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, they're not. At least in my opinion. The SmackDown women's style, that's going to be fucking great. That's going to be tremendous. And, you know, the NXT women's style match, Shayna and Kyrie always have good matches. Mm -hmm. Always have good matches. So I'm expecting nothing less. As for the Battle Royal, I think it all depends on who wins. Mm -hmm. As to, like, people's enjoyment of it, or at least my enjoyment of it. If if I had to name someone I want to win that, it'd be Nikki Cross. Because she fucking deserves it. Because Nikki Cross has single-handedly carried the top men's feud on NXT uh-huh. for the past uh-huh. two months. Damn it, and I that need is, to fucking cut that. That is not a joke. That is not a joke at all. Nikki Cross 
has single-handedly carried a top men's feud on NXT. That's not a joke at all. While simultaneously having an amazing feud of Bianca Belair. I love it. I love it. Yeah. All right, Mike, anything else we want to touch on? Um, I, well, I, how do you feel about Evolution? So, like, I'm going to it. So I'm excited. I'm anxious for it. I'm going to enjoy myself. I think it is going to do better than anybody's giving it credit for. I, I, I think I think you know exactly what's going to come out of it. Um, but uh, and that's why you're going to it, of course. I mean, this is history yeah. here, right? Oh, like everybody, I, I, I everybody's gonna, gonna deliver. I was gonna go, regardless of what matches were set up for. Yeah. Is this how I would have booked it? Fuck no, mm-hmm. absolutely not. But some stuff is how I would have booked it. Some stuff is like that Becky Charlotte last woman standing. Sure, I might have gone ladder match, but it's a big money match with a big money stipulation. Mm-hmm. It should may event the show, but it's not going to. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it happens. Mike, how much of yeah. Raw was watchable for you tonight? I'm going to say two and a half hours. Whoa! Two and a half. Whoa! Yep. What were your big yeah. down points? Leo Rush? Um. Yeah. No, the Leo Rush, they still know what to do with Finn Balor, mm-hmm. which... I feel like after Crown Jewel, we might know what to do with Finn Balor. Okay. Okay. I, I feel like There's he some, might have might some more room. Redirection. Might be some room. Because if we on. don't get the Demon versus the Monster at the Royal Rumble <sighs> for the Universal title, I'm going to eat my fucking hat. I'm not wearing a hat, but I'm going to eat one. He's going to buy He's gonna buy an undisputed hat and mm-hmm. uh, and eat it. Yep. Do they have hats? Absolutely. I don't know. I just kind of picked See, somebody. I, Sorg, I'm making a lot of bold proclamations. You are. You are. Because Somebody, I, you know what? You know what we need? We need some industrious fan out there to go on one of those fan wiki sites and start a Wrestling Mayhem show fan wiki uh-huh. where we list all the bold predictions and weird stuff like this. Oh, yeah. So absolutely. we can reference them down there, down the line. Yes. Just some some fan with too much time on their hands. It would be amazing if they did that. Just mm-hmm. putting that out there. And we will shout you out as soon as you tell us you did it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. I mean, we can't do Wikipedia. We've tried that before. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Matt, Mike. Oh no, uh, me. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, uh, I two know. and a half. Yeah, the two and a half. Uh, wait. You said you said you had a major thing you didn't like. What was it? Oh, it was Leo Rush. Oh, okay. Okay. Rush. That that that's fair. No, it was Leo. And I mean, Leo Rush is trying to be annoying. No, I get no. it. And no, like the, the announcers. I, I, I did. I did enjoy the announcers. Openly trying to feel, trying to feel out how to cope with Leo Rush as a thing that was happening. Yes. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. Like especially when Corey says, "You know what? I know the microphone's louder than his in your home." Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and you know what I did appreciate? This is this is one other thing I noticed. I'm not on drugs. I'm positive <laughs> I'm not on drugs. I also made. I also hey, made that logos was a res- tonight. Yes. No, I made Legos tonight. It was a, it was a good night. Yeah, um, so you got a good thing. I also really, really, really enjoy not one single promotion from Mixed Match Challenge. Whoa! Not one single thing for it, and that was the right call. Mm-hmm. That was the fucking most correct There's call they made There's too much to promote. There's too well, no, much to promote, even, and it's it's to pull that. back on it. It's not even that. It's to associate the men, the the women, with the men. This night should have been about just the women's wrestlers mm-hmm. against each other. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't have had men involved with it at all. And mm-hmm. they didn't make the announcement. Beth and Renee are on commentary. Yes, for Evolution, which is great because they do a fantastic job on on uh, May Young. Yeah. Fantastic! I love it. I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's just them. It's how it feels like it. Cause, cause Michael Cole, like, I was listening very closely. Michael Cole didn't say, "I'll be joining Beth and Renee on mm-hmm. commentary." He's saying, he, "I got he, the night off because I got to travel he, next he, week." Well, I mean, he's gonna be probably in their headsets. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but it I, sounded and, and like it's be, just Beth and Renee. And to be honest, like he should be right because yeah. not not for them being women, but them being a lot greener in that spot, right? Yeah. So oh, I, I'm 
like that's why the May Young totally works. Mm -hmm. Like Michael Cole is there as a facilitator, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a trap cop. Yep, essentially. Mm -hmm. And he he's absolutely fine. When I've always said this, when Michael Cole is not with JBL, Mm -hmm. he's mostly okay. He is mostly okay. I mean, it's. Cole is, um, I mean, you can't, like, like Cole, Cole doesn't stick out enough at this point. He's just, is the sound, right? Like, yeah. he is the white noise of the WWE. I, I, he that, is. That sounds worse than, than I mean it to be, but, like. He's the voice you expect to hear. It's like JR. Yeah. He's like, he's like, oh, yeah, they, like him and Tom Phillips and even. Because um, if you think about it, Michael Cole has been doing commentary yeah. since, I think, 1999. Yeah, that seems right. So I mean, it's it's like, a second like nature as thing. He's as the as pro. We got separate SmackDown commentary teams. I'm pretty sure that's when Cole and Taz took over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, be, and and well, and even before that, because he was doing things like Heat and he was doing backstage. Yeah, he he was doing like, but he wasn't. He didn't have his own show. No, no, no. Um. So th- yeah, so I mean, I think you know he should be there in somebody's ear. That that only has even a year or you know months or whatever the case may be here. You know, mix mix challenge. You know, and everything. Uh, you know, he's he's kind of the the godfather of WWE commentary and how that works. So no, absolutely. Um, <laughs> what the hell? Hold on a second. Now we're not going to talk about um, that on this show because this show is about Monday Night Raw out there in the chat room. But thank you for the idea. Maybe Brandon, we'll bring it up Brandon tomorrow. Post- Post a story about that in the Facebook group. No, absolutely. That sounds like something to talk about. And there's a lot going on. Facebook group, um, Wrestling Mayhem Show. We were talking about uh, DJ Z making an appearance burr, 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 burr. in a recent <laughs> in a recent um, uh, promotion that had no ring and it was in a bar and it was kind of hardcore, I think, in Florida. He was telling me about it a few weeks ago and I just saw the pictures. Um, so I'm just like, dude, that's not your thing. Uh, so, uh, also, also, uh, a lot of other great commentary going on there. Uh, this is where we have a lot of discussion. That's where the community is. I'd you guys to hop in here, uh, in the chat room, um, during this. And we do this live on Facebook live. And of course, if you're hearing us on podcasts over on the wrestling man show, super feed, wherever fine podcasts are sold for nothing. Um, also I wanted to give a shout out just because I mentioned DJ Z. Uh, there's going to be some media going out about it, but if you can you can go check out. Um, this is more for wrestlers, probably, unless you want to see the Q&A. Uh, we just released um, officially tonight under the radar, um, and I just got all the graphics and stuff approved from DJZ himself. Um, <laughs> learning. <laughs> I should have just had you doing a mouse sound in the intro to this thing. Um, we, rele- we just released a learning lucha with DJZ. Um, <laughs> Damn it. It's a recent <laughs> seminar that he did in Cleveland I'll stop, I'll stop. before Alterweight Wrestling. Because I'm going to plug this, you realize, for the next like week or so. I know. I, so I, I, I have to do it the first we time. We got to have I a limit. Do. We got to just, like, just, just. I will not do it for the rest of the This time. is the practice one for everything. Yeah, so. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of your system now. <laughs> but no, now, go I, check that I out. I can't speak for anyone else who might be on the Wrestling Mayhem show who do it in my stead. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I That's can't right. speak for them, but I will uh, not do it during the plus. A lot going on. Please, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, our friends at Rise Wrestling are doing something really cool and different. Uh, if you watch, uh, if you check out Rise Wrestling with a Y on social media, a lot of them just got got uh, uh, made up by the Scare House, and uh, they're going to be doing uh, scary wrestling down at the Fright Up Nights in downtown Pittsburgh Market Square Saturday night. So be a part of that. Also, Sean Phoenix will be joining us Sunday. Uh, he, I believe this is going to be his first interview since his injury uh, at a recent IWC show. Uh, took a bad spill, um, hit his head pretty good. Um, there's a lot of consequences from that, and uh, we're going to talk about that. I, I've been I've been chatting with him uh, since uh, about what's going on and and you know seeing what he's doing to kind of document and you know see what we can do with this thing. And uh, we're going to have a good discussion with him, I think, here uh, coming up, and that is going to be before the. WWE Evolution pay-per-view at 5 p.m. And then if you come here, you can check out the interview here in person in our studio audience. And we're going to be watching the Evolution pay-per-view. And we're going to be doing some other stuff to them. Uh, I'm working on scheduling, and I shouldn't announce yet. Uh, <laughs> also, look out Indie Mayhem show. We did live Friday. We had uh, Shane Taylor from Ring of Honor here. 
uh, and that's going to be releasing on Thursday on all the outlets, uh, and you can check out the raw uh, of that over on the Facebook Live on IndieWrestling.us. Uh, real, real good talk with him, and I actually I spent like half the day with him, partially because of some timing issues. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. My day with Shane Taylor, um, and we kind of boiled it down in a thirty-minute interview. So, uh, no, really good, really good stuff going on over there. And of course, Wrestling Mayhem Show, nine p.m. Eastern time. I believe Ronnie Starks is going to join us, Mad Mike. Um, okay. He's, uh, uh, of course, a manager over there at Black Diamond Wrestling, and uh, he's going to come back. He's a lot of, yeah, I have a lot of fun chatting with him. He's the one that had the, the Drifter uh, picture with the Guitar Hero from earlier ah. this month. That, it's that guy. Okay. Um, nice. I, figured, I figured you saw that one. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much. Go check out everything Indie Wrestling.us. Mad Mike 483 on the Twitters. Uh, yes, I will be live tweeting Lucha Underground at some point this week. Uh, it depends on if my DVR cooperates or not. Mm-hmm. But go to at Mayhem Show, look for the hashtag MM, and we are gearing up toward Ultima Lucha Quattro if Sorg gets on his Damn shit. it. Damn it. Um, I have to science Sorg, ult- time. Ultima Lucha's in two weeks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's, tonight, I'm going to watch my daily show, and I'm going to watch an episode of May Young. Sorg. Sorg, watch Lucha. I man, I I, I can't be tired when I watch. I, I don't know. I will watch one or the other. Okay, I will watch That's one good. or the other. And Comcast quit putting the episodes up when I complained about them not being posted. They wanted to know my account number, and I'm like, I don't know. It's my mom's. Uh, anyways, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Sorg, iTunes. Oh, by the way, yeah, um, I know. I, I this is this is an official warning. Oh, um. If you have never seen Lucha Underground before and you want to check it out, it is leaving Netflix in November. Oh, no. Yes. The first two seasons are up there. Binge watch as much as you can, if not just buy the rest on I, iTunes. I hope. I hope. Yeah, and, and that supports them and, and sends a signal that please give us more Lucha if you do that. If you yes. watch it on there, if you buy it on iTunes, I, I think it's, it's worthwhile. Um, they, hopefully that's not, I mean, that's just the deal's end, right? I um, believe that's Hopefully that also end, means yeah. that they're going to, like, you know, maybe Amazon or something. You know? Or Hulu. Or Hulu, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Hulu knows. Uh, <laughs> shit, I'm making <laughs> bad jokes. It's time to get out of here. Sorry, turn on the Twitter. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep it raw. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time.